Hello everybody, Tortoise Investing coming at you today with three of the best restaurant stocks to buy now. These are, uh, all of these are in a pretty good dip year to date and I feel that they are all great buying opportunities. If you are new, we are going to be using Qualtrum Insights to break down all the information that we will need and some analyst estimates with each of the holdings. Bonus stock. This is one that I will be buying. Do not buy it because I buy it. Love this company. I can make a whole video on this company by itself. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Drop a like down below. I greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments if you own any of these. Are you buying anything? I'd love to hear from you. Again, do your own research before investing. And uh, yeah, we'll take a quick look at the portfolio so far. And then we will dive into uh, what we're going to be talking about. So, $932.00 through M1 Finance. Uh, Salesforce, United Health, Starbucks, MasterCard, and Celsius are our current holdings. Right now, I am really eager to get paid again, and I'm hoping MasterCard stays at its current values, if not drops further, so I can buy even more. Love that company. But yeah, this is how things are looking, and uh, I do have a Roth IRA, uh, $504. It just has SCHG in it. Whenever I get paid and I have a little bit of extra money, I just throw it in there. This thing's going to grow over the next 20 some years. So we'll see what happens. I'm fairly certain good things. <laughs> but today, we are going to be taking a look at McDonald's, Darden Restaurants, the Olive Garden one, and Starbucks Corporation. Now, McDonald's adjusted a free cash flow yield of 3.87%, dividend yield 2.72%, and a payout ratio of 53%. All those are pretty good. So, year to date, we are down 15.67%. Over the last year, pretty much the same. Five years up 17.61%. Over the last 10 years up 149.32%. Revenue. Revenue kind of had was on the right trend, and then from 2013 to 2020, uh, it was like this downward spiral with the revenue, and then it looks like things are back on track. Uh, free cash flow growing at a rate of 5.38% uh, over the last 10 years, but here recently, 11.42%. We do see some accelerated growth out of their free cash flow, which is very nice. Uh, EPS, 7.61%. Again, Pretty good up into the right growth. We'll take a look at the quarterly so we can look at the updated debt. $36.76 billion. They have uh, three, uh, $838 million in cash. Uh, their EBITDA was $12.13 billion as of last year. My general rule of thumb, again, you don't have to go buy this, just what I personally do. Uh, I don't like companies that have more than three times their EBITDA in debt. Just kind of a, a leverage limit that I have. <clears throat> so this one's right at it, but it's McDonald's. It's got a moat and a half, and I feel that this is an okay situation. I'm more than confident that they're going to get their debt paid back down. Again, it's McDonald's, and they have growing revenues. Uh, free cash flow has been growing over the last 10 years, so everything's trending in the right direction. So, the dividend, growing at a rate of 7.5% over the last 10 years. Nice little set of stairs, getting some bigger and bigger hikes here. Uh, over the last two years, at a rate of 10%, so that is a very nice. Uh, shares outstanding. Let's take a look at the quarterly here, so we can see the most updated. Uh, 725.9 million. Uh, if you want your company to be buying back shares, especially on a dip, like right now, McDonald's, I hope that you are bu -bu 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 buying those shares back. Uh, over the last 10 years, I've been doing it at a rate of 3.13%. And again, I hope that they are absolutely taking advantage of this uh, downtrend. Return on capital employed is looking uh, really good. Even in 2020, when half the world was shut down, 15.77%. Nothing to uh, hate on. And uh, last year, 23.83% ROCE. Usually companies uh, average around 9 to 10%. This one's doing pretty good. EPS. EPS averaged 12.19 for 2024, grown 13.29 in 2025. So that is right at 10%, I believe. 
In revenue, $26.6 billion. In 2024, grown to $28.15 billion. And I think that that is like mid-single digits, so about 5 to 7% from their revenue. Next up, Darden Restaurants. This is one I've had my eyes on for a hot minute. And it keeps dropping. It's making it more and more juicy, I'm telling you. Uh, down 14.92% year-to-date over the last year, down 17.26%. Five years, up 10.66%. And over the last 10 years, 247.5%. Whoa, that's pretty good right there. Uh, just free cash flow yield, 5.59%. Dividend yield right at 4%. And a payout ratio at 61.43%. Take a look at the revenue. Revenue has been growing at a rate of 6% over the last 10 years. So very nice, just a little up and to the right trend going on. Free cash flow uh, at a rate of 4.68% over the last five years. And the EPS growing at a rate of 14.75% over the last 10 years. So very nice, very nice. Everything is looking good so far. Take a look at the quarterly for updated debt. Uh, $1.37 billion in debt, $220 million in cash. Uh, their EBITDA last year, well, EBITDA so far is uh, $1.79 billion. So no issues there whatsoever with the balance sheet. Not a problem. Uh, the dividend has been growing at a rate of 11% over the last 10 years. They did have a little cut back in 2020. Well, yeah, when half the world shut down, all the restaurants were closed. Uh, they did cut their dividend. But if you check here very quickly, they put it right back to where it was. And then we've just been off to the races since. All right. Quarterly for the shares outstanding, 120.1% million shares so they are buying back some more shares which i love they had a little increase here in 2021 but they've been buying them back at a rate of three percent over the last two years so that is decreasing and again i hope that they are taking advantage of this dip be buying back those shares when you are in a downtrend buy back cheap shares do it return on capital employed 14.53 percent so looking pretty good there as well uh, the EPS, 955, growing to 1050 in 2025 to 2026. I don't know if that's supposed to be 2024. Just reading what it says. And for revenue, 1184, growing to 1253, and that is in billions. So yeah, everything with Darden, looking good. I, I like where this thing's going. If, it, if, if we definitely get into this zone right here, we dip below 120. Ooh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to buy it, and I'm just gonna own so many restaurant stocks in my portfolio, <laughs> or like food-related things. I have Celsius. I have Starbucks right now. I mean, I'd be perfectly fine owning Darden if it was a drop even lower. Uh, next up, Starbucks. Speaking of Starbucks, hey, how you doing, Starbucks? Uh, just a free cash flow, you had a 4.43%, dividend yield 3.13%, a payout ratio of 61.71%. I love this. I love this company. Uh, down 22.59% year to date, so rough year so far over the last year, down 28%. Over the last five years, down 19.23%. Over the last 10 years, we are up 84.6%. I believe in this company long term. This thing is going to compound for me. I am more than confident in it. Again, I'm not saying go out and buy it. You're going to get guaranteed returns. Uh, over the last 10 years, revenue has been growing at a rate of 8.14%. Uh, the one reason why they might be in a slight downtrend is uh, their total of 90-day uh, reward members did drop. Uh, it did drop. And again, I think that that's the reason that everything is slightly alarmed. But you got a lot of political stuff going on and just a whole lot of this and that and not really company or financial related things. Uh, total stores are increasing year over year. They are opening up more stores left and right, uh, setting a total right at 40000 So that is very nice. Free cash flow, growing at a rate of, it says 2.55% over the last five years. It's kind of been bouncing around a little bit. Uh, this is one thing I feel like they could do a little bit better with, try and get that under control some more. That would make me happy. Uh, EPS, over 10% over the last 10 years. 
it was just nice. A nice little uptrend going on here. Of course, I had the 2020 dip. Everything had 2020 dip. Uh, debt, we'll take a look at the quarterly so we can see updated 15.55 billion. Their EBITDA last year was 7.33 billion. So that's about two times, <clears throat> a little bit over two times. Not an issue. Everything is looking fine and dandy. Dividend, dividend's been growing at a ridiculous rate over the last 10 years, almost 16%. But here lately, we have been getting about 7-8% uh, increases with our dividend, which is perfectly fine. You don't want to invest in something that's only increased its dividend by like a penny. And that penny is like 0.2% or 1% or really even 2%. You want to have inflation beating dividend growth. So your buying power power, and your, uh, your snowball that you're wanting to build up uh, can build up properly and roll into itself and buy more and more of your companies. <clears throat> and uh, this is a pretty solid dividend increase. You know, seven to eight percent is nothing to nothing to hate on. And we'll take a look here at the quarterly for the shares outstanding one point one four billion. I am hoping that they are buying back shares right now. Please be buying back those shares right now. Over the last 10 years, they're rated 2.78%, so they have been working on decreasing a share count. Again, I am hoping that they are doing that right now, especially if it's down to $72. When was the last time we were this low? A big dip in 2022. And COVID. COVID, we dipped down to 58. Oh my God, I will... Oh, this thing hits below... This thing hits in the 60s. It's going to be like, bye, 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 bye for me. Again, that's just my personal opinion on it. <clears throat> uh, return on capital employed, 29.21% last year. Very solid. Very strong. Very good. Uh, EPS, 2024. We're looking at $3.59, growing to 421 So I think that is double-digit growth, if I'm mathing right. And uh, revenue, $36.82 billion, growing to $39.95 billion. Uh, I think that is right at 10%. Again, it's 5.30 in the morning. I woke up early before work so I could put this together for you. But yeah, those are three restaurant companies that I feel are at pretty big dips. Year to date, all of these are down at least 15%. So let me know what you think below. I'd love to hear from you. Hope everyone has an awesome day. Remember, like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care. See you.